Uh, welcome back. Um, yeah, early signing day's gone like dog shit. Let's just get straight to it. Uh, first, we have Travis Hunter, who's number one recruit in the country, been committed for like over a year now. Uh, Barstool drops like um, one and a half million dollars uh, worth of bags on him. He flips to Jackson State. Thanks, Dion. Love you, buddy. Um, I mean, I get it. Dion's just doing his job or whatever, and I, I'm not hating on Hunter, but you, you rest assured, I'm definitely not rooting for him. He's gone. Out of my mind. He's not FSU related. Goodbye. Uh, didn't close with Ty, just as important to me. Almost as important, I'll say, because Hunter is a difference maker, but missing on West. Trenches guy, blue chipper, huge. Armella, another trench guy, blue chipper, pushes date back. Um, um, I think Mortimer's about to probably flip, so you're not getting a receiver. You only have Graham at linebacker. Uh, the class did pick up Thomas, so the DB class is still looking okay, um, even without Hunter. Not obviously as good. Picked up a blue chip, a defensive end, an edge guy um, from South Florida. And the class currently sits at 15th, but I think if Mortimer does follow through with this flip, I guess it would probably drop some more to 20th. Look, <clears throat> people are losing their minds. They have their garnet and gold noose around their fucking neck. They got their razor blades on their wrist, right? We're not firing Mark Norvell. It's not fucking happening. The same folks that thought it was a good idea not to fire him, not because, you know, he's done a miraculous job and winning all these games, but because they didn't want an another transition class because that would push us back even further. Are now the same folks, since we lost Hunter and the signing day close hasn't been good, are now saying fire him. The same reasons you didn't want to fire him before today should still be the same reasons you do that were Tennessee, were Nebraska. Again, it's nuanced though. You should still absolutely criticize this uh, staff more than just the Hunter thing. Because again, at least you can kind of explain that. You know, you get offered that much money from Barstool and whoever. Okay, but the, the West, the, the Armella pushback, Mortimer just saw the notification, did indeed flip. Only have Graham at linebacker. I mean, you're going to have to take a dozen portal guys. This pushes the program back another year. Had you held on to everybody, and added a West or a Armella. You didn't have to go nuts. We knew we weren't going to get some of these other guys. But just simply held on to what you had and added two to three more pieces that looked like you were going to add. You didn't. You didn't close. This staff ain't it. I've been saying it. It needs an upgrade, especially in recruiting territory. That is clear. It's beyond obvious. This staff has like three good recruiters or elite recruiters. One of them's gone. Just went to Oregon. So you have Mike, a great recruiter. You have Woodson. That's really about it. Oh, and Atkins. That's it. You have those three guys that are actually doing their job on the trail. You have a few in the middle that pretty much are eh. And then you have a bunch of garbage at the bottom like Dugans and Thompson. And uh, who else? Throw Odell in that group now. Whatever. If we want to play big boy football... We have to make changes. I told some people on this channel, fuck continuity. Win me some fucking games. Go get some elite recruiters and stop fuck dicking around. We did it close, Hunter aside, right? And you cannot spin. Oh, but at least we still, we were five and seven. So to get a top 20 class, no. Win games, get recruiters, drop bags. The administration obviously needs to step up as well, right? But on the same token, firing Mike Norvell would be stupid. I think at this point, it sounds like I'm jumping to conclusions, but I think at this point, it's probably fair to say whether Norvell gets fired after year four or whatever, it's probably fair to say he is likely not the guy based on he's not getting enough talent and winning games to, to be the guy, but he might be the guy to get us to eight wins when he does get shit canned. Hopefully the next guy takes us to the next level. I think that's where I'm at with Norvell. He's a guy that's probably, if, if he doesn't make any staff changes, if the admin doesn't splash cash, we're going to continue to get these mid-level classes and maybe we're just raising the floor of the program. We eight wins. Maybe that's what it is. He we took over dog shit. Maybe he gets it to the, a floor of eight wins Get shit canned after year four 
and maybe the next guy can take us to the next level with better recruiters. Maybe the admin wakes the fuck up. Either way, should he be fired today? No. Should he be criticized? Yes. Him and the staff, the administration, everybody. All right. Well, that wasn't any fun at all. Have a great day.